Hello, this is Daniel from endhairloss.eu, and in this short video, I will answer a question that many ask us often. Does creatine cause hair loss? Let's see how and why assuming this amino acid could damage your hair. Creatine is a natural amino acid found in meat and fish, and it is often used by athletes as a supplement to boost performance as it affects how muscles utilize energy. Our body also produces it in the pancreas, liver, and kidneys. It is in the family of creatine-based amino acids that are responsible for the proper functioning of different body functions on both a muscular and cellular level. But we know that it is concentrated mainly in muscle tissues, including the heart. Its assumption can greatly help athletic and fitness performances, but it can also help treat conditions such as muscular dystrophy, Parkinson's, and heart disease. In spite of all these positive effects, unfortunately it can also interfere with hair growth and can even trigger excessive hair thinning as a side effect, especially when taken in large amounts. Studies have shown that it increases the levels of dihydrotestosterone, the male hormone derived from testosterone and enemy of your hair, in the body, therefore resulting in hair loss. Through an enzyme called 5-alpha reductase, testosterone converts into DHT and its presence on the scalp can be really noxious. Higher circulating DHT levels are linked with a higher rate of shedding in those susceptible to the effects of this androgen. In one study conducted on male rugby players, it has been observed that creatine supplementation increased the levels of DHT up to 40 to 55 percent, with a daily amount of 5 grams, in only 20 days. Fortunately, there is a way to decrease the formation of DHT in the scalp, and this is covered in the materials of the endhairloss.eu full program to stop hair loss naturally. With our program, you can fight naturally the three main causes of hair loss. The decline of the micro blood circulation to the upper part of the scalp, the hormone DHT which attacks the hair follicles, and, and bad scalp conditions like excessive dandruff, dermatitis, and different scalp irritations. Using our program, you may even continue taking creatine without the fear of damaging your hair follicles because of an increase in DHT levels in your body. Check out our homepage for more info. Thank you for your attention.